Okay, so you finished designing your mosaic tile and you're ready to bring it over into vCurve. So here's my file. I've created outlines of all my text. Um, there's no longer any fonts. I've simplified my file. Hopefully everything looks good and everything's aligned the way that you'd like it to be. Now, I need to save it, so make sure you save it. And I'm going to minimize this. Let's go ahead and find vCarve Pro. vCarve Pro should be on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, you can search it in the Windows Start menu or down at the bottom where it says Type Here to Search. I'm going to go ahead and double click to open. vCarve Pro should open. If you see this window that says Please Register, you do not need to register. Just push Cancel. If for some reason you accidentally push OK, it's going to bring you to a website and want you to register the program. You don't need to do that. From here, we're going to create a new file. It's important to note that we are not, I say again, we are not just opening our Illustrator file in vCarve. Okay? We are creating a new file. So when we go to create a new file, we need to make sure we have the correct dimensions. So these tiles are going to be 6 inches by 6 inches. The material thickness is 0.25. It's a quarter inch thick. And you need to make sure that your Z0 is set to the top of the material, not the bottom. This is going to mess up your cutting depth. If you put it down here, it's going to confuse the CNC. We want to make sure it's at the top. We don't want to use any kind of offset. This bottom left corner is where our starting point for our bit is going to be on the CNC. It's also indicated here with a red square in the bottom left hand side of what we would call our artboard. Once you've got that set, we're going to go ahead and push OK. And we can go ahead and import our vectors that we've designed in Illustrator. You'll notice this program is kind of outdated looking. If you were to try to design in here, you would be pretty frustrated. So be glad that we're designing in Illustrator and bringing it over into vCarve. So let's get our vectors over here. So we're going to go to File and then Import and Import Vectors. Find wherever you've saved it. Hopefully you remember where you saved your file. Here's an example that I'm going to use for this. So I've selected it. Notice it is not centered. When you bring in your design, it's going to come as one big selected piece, and it's not centered. When things have pink dotted lines, in this program that means they are selected. There is no bounding box in this program. So if I want to center these, I can leave everything selected, come over here to where it says Transform Objects. This last option says Align Selected Objects. I can align to the material. I want to center it, so I'm going to use this Center option. And it's going to move my design up to the center. I can scroll down and push Close. Now, if I click off to the side, you'll notice it deselects. It will allow me to select different portions and different letters of my design individually. Some shortcuts still work in this program. Click and drag to select multiple things works. You can also shift click in this program just like in Illustrator, which is handy. It also works for deselecting one thing at a time too. Okay, so we've got our new file in vCarve um, created and we have imported our vectors and we um, centered everything on our file. That's all I'm going to show you in this video. The next video is going to show you how to start setting up toolpaths for our bits for the CNC in order to cut our tile properly.